Morning guys, it's Chris. I'm up here at Rock Outdoors. I want to talk to you real quick this morning about wintertime fishing. It is really starting to get cold. Fall is almost over and winter is really finally starting to get in on top of us. You know, there's just a couple of things that I, you know, I really like to fish in the wintertime. It's, it's not a good time of the year to catch a lot of fish, but it's probably the best time of the year to catch a really big fish. And you know, there's just really a couple of things that I like to throw. The number one thing that I like to throw in the wintertime is an Alabama rig. This is the Dave's Tournament Tackle Castabrella rig. It, um, you know, it has a little swim baits on it and all our light, you know, any special fish anywhere that's, that's got a lot of clear water. The Alabama rig, I'm telling you, it, it just, in my opinion, it has no equal in cold, clear water. You know, you throw it out, you let it sink to the bottom and you just wind it back and they'll do the, basically do the rest of it. You know, I love throwing Alabama rig and it's actually a multi-species bait too. You don't just catch bass on it. The stripers and hybrid and the white bass just absolutely love it. I mean, and, and, it, and it will catch a big fish as well. The other thing that I like to throw in the uh, wintertime is a jerk bait. You know, this is two versions of the uh, Mega Bass Jerk Bait. This is the 110 and the 110 Plus. You know, a lot of tournaments are won every year in the wintertime on a on a jerk bait. I like to throw them on the eight pound canine four carbon and I use a level rod when I'm using both of these. But uh, this is a, you know, kind of a, it's a little different than Alabama rig. On an Alabama rig, you know, you kind of throw it out and you wind it back. You have to use this bait really slow. You wind it down until it stops and you just kind of let it sit. And when you think you've set it, when you think you've let it sit there long enough, let it sit there a few more minutes. You have to fish increase, just painstakingly slow with this. You just give it a twitch and let it sit, a twitch and let it sit. You know, a lot of times shad in the wintertime, when they when they, they get stressed when the water gets down in the 40s, and what they do, they swim and they stop. They swim and they stop, but they don't rise. And what a jerk bait does is when you wind it down and you stop it, it imitates one of those shad that's that's down there, you know, they're, they're stressed and they're trying to die. They swim and they stop, they swim and they stop, and they don't come back up, and that's exactly what a jerk bait does. And I try to use as light a line as I can to get away with. I use eight pound, eight pound canine fluorocarbon to get these baits down to where they need to go. You know, wintertime fish don't get on the bottom, they suspend. You know, they don't, they stay up in the water column because that's where the, the bait fish are at. And that's why a jerk bait in an Alabama rig is such a deadly way to catch them in the wintertime. And I'm gonna tell you something about wintertime fishing too. You know, the pre-spawn starts a lot earlier than what people think thinks that it does. When it gets into to January and early February, you know, those really big fish, that's when they start moving up and they're fat, they eat all winter and it's just a good time of the year. Like I said, it is not for the faint of heart. You know, it is, it is not easy fishing. You fish all day for maybe two or three bites, but I'm telling you, you get one most of the time. It's the, it, you actually can catch the fish of a lifetime in the wintertime. It's just a great time to be on the water. You know, sometimes, you know, during the wintertime, you'll spring, you'll, you'll actually string two or three days together. You know, we'll get a little bit of a break from the uh, from some of the cold temperatures. And those big fish, when they feel that, they move up. They move up in the water column. And an Alabama rig and a jerkbait is just a deadly way to catch them. But if you'll try this in the wintertime, I think it'll help you catch a couple big fish. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.